for the sign of Taurus hello and welcome to my channel just remember the bottom cards they're paired with the top cards so Taurus in the recent past we have the Empress now this is a very potent time for love very potent very potent time for love and you may find or you could have found that men and women alike are suddenly finding you far more attractive both in terms of friendship and romance and you would have or you will want to be careful with how you use your power now keep in mind this is the recent past so don't underestimate its potency if you were single at that time and you were looking then this was a time when love or true love that is could have very well came your way now if you are single and not looking then true love may have seeked you out anyway committed relationships often became sweeter they became deeper and truer under the influence of the empress and this card is paired with the eight of swords now the eight of swords it points to a need to seriously reevaluate a relationship you may have been sticking with someone that was actually bad for you since you probably figured it's better than nothing now if this was the case you probably you probably re thought it you, you rethought the situation because you knew that being in a unhealthy unhealthy relationship was much worse than being alone so if you were looking for love at that time first you probably or you should have taken a look at how well you love yourself someone else cannot come along and fix you and you knew that you needed to start where you were now that's the recent past now let's move on to the present we have the four of Pentacles now this is a card about fear basically when it comes to love either you are holding on too tight to a situation or a lover or someone is attempting to do that to you now this clinging is it's not healthy true love also allows for space between the lovers and no matter what one can never really control another person now if you are single and think that you are ready for a relationship just realize that you will undoubtedly have to take steps outside your comfort zone to make it happen true love is not going to just drop out of the sky true love won't just knock at your door it usually doesn't anyway and the four of pentacles is paired with the knight of pentacles now when it comes to love in a reading the knight of pentacles it points to responsibility and duty that is a part of any love relationship love is not all wine and roses true love is a willingness to work together or it's a willingness to work together to get through any rough spots and to work on the relationship how well are you meeting your responsibilities that will be the question if you're looking for love when you draw this card in a reading or when this card is in your reading it's a clear signal that you need to vary your routine and try new things if you want to meet someone your usual search it leaves very little to be desired with these two cards paired together, the Four of Pentacles, it's about fear. You're probably holding on too tight to a situation or lover, 
or someone could be doing that to you. Clinging like that is not healthy. It's paired with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, you have a responsibility and a duty that's a part of any love relationship. Love is not all wine and roses. You're going to have to work together on this relationship to get through any rough spots. And um, it's just going to... It's just going to um, uh, make the relationship turn around for the better. But with these two cards paired together, uh, you're holding on too tight or they're doing that to you. You have to work on those issues. And the, uh, the main issue seems to be clinging. Clinging on too tight. They could be doing that to you or you could be doing that to them. And... It doesn't, it doesn't show that it's ending, but it just shows that you need to work on the relationship. Now, that's the present. Now, we move on to the challenge. We have the Page of Cups. Now, as you can see in the picture, I hope you can see the picture. Uh, the Page of Cups is about a younger person, even younger by a few days. They may be a part of your love scenario. Just remember, love does not know age. Uh, so don't discount people who are younger purely on that basis. You don't want to do that. Don't discount people because of their age. Now this card, when it talks about love, it can mean that someone is about to sweep you off your feet and you need to give them a chance uh, regardless of their age if they're uh, younger than you. Um, the page is about youth. So it's paired with the Ten of Wands. Now the appearance of the Ten usually signifies a hard place in a relationship. Now it can be that your lover is undergoing a rough time that has nothing to do with your relationship but it needs your support. So more than often however it indicates that there's something in the relationship with needs Something in the relationship that needs to be examined, looked at, and considered. So you will not gain by pretending that there are no problems. If you're in the market for love, don't despair. Your time will come eventually, but perhaps now is a good time to stop your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. With these two cards paired together, the Page of Cups, a younger person, even younger by a few days, or it could be years, many years, they may be a part of your love scenario. Give them a chance. Don't discount them because of their age. It's paired with the Ten of Wands. Uh, it signifies a hard place in a relationship. So with this younger person coming your way, you're probably having difficulties with his age. You have discounted him because he's much younger than you. You don't want to do that. Um, uh, also, this younger person could be going through a rough time. And if you decide to stick with it, this younger person, he, he'll just need your support. Um, And also, the relationship may need to be looked at, considered, and examined, or re-examined. Okay, you won't gain anything by pretending there's no problems. So you may have some issues. You, you may be attracted and you really like this younger person, but it looks like you're going to just have to work on it um, because um, uh, you probably find that he's kind of immature in a lot of ways but you really like them, so you just need to work on it. Uh, just like you would have to do with any relationship. So that, that would really be nothing new. Um, give them a chance. Don't discount them because of the situations that may come up. And that's gonna be the challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. We have the Three of Wands. Now with this card, your ro romantic relationships they're likely to be going well, but only if your partner is willing to treat you as an equal. 
If they are not, it might be time to move on after you've made your complaints and position clear. So if you have recently met someone new, just know that you are being held in very high regard by this new person. They think very highly of you. They're very attracted to you. Uh, they like everything about you. Also, if you're in the market for love, but feel as though you don't have any prospects, you are probably currently spending too much time and effort on your career or either in the house. So think about allowing more time for your personal life. And this card is paired with the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords, as you can see, just by looking at the, the picture in the card, there's a need for a change of scenery. So if you're already in a relationship, take your lover on a trip. Even if it's just down the street for a picnic at the park or something of that type. If you're looking for love, this card points to a need to get out of your routines and your usual search. Get out of that. If you want to meet someone new, you have to remember to explore. With these two cards paired together, the three of wands, your romantic relationships, they're, they're more than likely to be going well, but only if your partner is treating you as an equal. If they're not, it may be time to move on. Now it's paired with the Six of Swords. Okay, so it looks like you probably need to work on this relationship. You're, even if, it, if it's this young person, or even if it's not this young person, if it's a related relationship that you've already been in, it looks like it's at the point where you just need to talk and communicate and work on it. But the relationship is going well. Uh, take your partner on a trip or have them take you on a trip. It doesn't have to be expensive. Just uh, try, try some picnics at the park every weekend or something like that. Uh, but just know that this person, they see you in very high regard. They hold you in very high regard and that they're, they're very attracted to you. So, like I said, the Three of Wands, your romantic relationships, they're going well, but if he's not treating you as an equal, that's where the problem comes in. That's where you have to work on it and uh, travel and communication sounds like the best thing to do at this time. And that's going to be the outcome. So Taurus, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.